is up Web3 It's me, Chris Atimons, right here the World AI Technology Expo at Movin' Peak. And I'm so lack- lucky because I'm at the booth of graphwise.ai together with Mr. Andreas. How are you today? I'm doing well. Mm-hmm. It's a great show here. I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. So, great day. Is this your first time in Dubai? It is. And honestly, I really enjoy Dubai a lot. Uh, it seems to be the new hub in the world, you know, Mm -hmm. bridging the gaps between Europe and Asia. Mm -hmm. And is this your first time to be an exhibitor of World AI as well? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's the first time in Dubai and also the first time at this conference, which I really enjoy. And how is it compared to the other conferences then? Well, I would say different crowd, Mm -hmm. um, different kind of people, very knowledgeable people, very friendly people. I really enjoy being here. We had a lot of discussions. I think the level of knowledge is really, really mature. Mm -hmm. Uh, People have a very clear understanding of what AI could do for them Mm -hmm. potentially. Uh, Still, of course, like everywhere else in the world, we have to fix and sort out uh, to some degree how to proceed with this beautiful new technology. All right, perfect. Can you please tell us a bit background of what you are guys doing with graphwise.ai? Sure. Um, So, I mean, we started a couple of years ago, uh, actually not a startup anymore. Uh, We are a merger of two Mm -hmm. companies based in Europe. Um, Both were dedicated to build engines for customers, which allow them to access the data and the content more efficiently. We do that while using knowledge graphs. A knowledge graph is a little bit like our brains work. Um, You should not get confused with uh, neural networks. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of different uh, style of of shaping data. We combine those two things. So Mm -hmm. you could say the neural networks, the AI, like LLMs, we're talking about a little bit like our, let's say, ability to speak. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge graphs are a little bit like the ability uh, um, to think about something, mm-hmm. like reason about something. So why is this connected? How is something connected? Mm-hmm. This is what a knowledge graph brings next to an LLM, a large mm-hmm. language model, can do very nicely and fluently speak about stuff, but it does not necessarily understand what it's speaking about, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. Okay, and now that you are here at the World AI Technology Expo, what are you showcasing today? So we built uh, for customers things like Knowledge Hubs. Uh, Knowledge Hub would be, for instance, um, an easy way to access different data sets across uh, an enterprise. Uh, It's also, for instance, another use case is you have large document repositories, maybe in your, let's say, SharePoint, and you would like to find stuff in a better way, like to ask questions about your documents. And most of all, it's very important to be able to trust the answers you get mm-hmm. from your AI system. So it's all about trustworthy AI. And th- this is something uh, you can make yeah, make clearer and make, make work with a system like Graphwise, including a knowledge graph. Mm-hmm. And what makes Graphwise.ai stand out from all the competitors? I think uh, one element is definitely uh, it's uh, helping clients to strategically set up AI in a way that you move forward the uh, the upcoming years uh, with uh, AI-ready content and data. So it's not like per application, you have one AI, one data set, one application, the next one, the next one, the next one. That's not what we propose. It's more like you build up an entire strategy for your AI framework and here Craftwise is a, a very important strategic component for it. Okay, and then after this event, World AI Technology Expo, what's next with Graphwise? What's next with Craftwise? Well, we're currently after our merger we did uh, at the end of last year in the phase of growing mm-hmm. uh, nicely with additional solutions. Uh, we offered to our clients uh, with an end-to-end platform, now with having all the tools integrated in one platform. We also spread out to uh, other regions, like to the Middle East, for instance. So also our partner network is growing. We are growing and we hope that our clients will appreciate uh, the way how we propose to set up the AI uh, systems in enterprises.
Thank you so much, Mr. Andres. Now, last question. What do you think is the future of money? The future of money? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I think, I mean, my hope is that uh, those people have enough money uh, eventually come to the conclusion that they don't need even more. <laughs> Uh, that uh, money will be better distributed uh, across human beings around the globe. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it's far too much, let's say, uh, sucked up by a couple of them. Uh, so we really need to find ways that everybody can benefit mm -hmm. from money, no matter if it's digital, crypto, mm -hmm. paper, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Money is actually something everybody should have enough to live a decent life. Yes. You're right. Money money it's not about paper it's not about digital it's what we have okay and now describe this event in one word fantastic you are fantastic mr andres thank you so much i hope you get a lot of insights from him and don't forget to check out graph wise as well more to come only at fomo the future of money <laughs>